Hi, I haven't been to jw.borg for ages. Remember, I go there so you don't have to. Anyway, this is their uh, midweek meeting, the clan meeting, the Christian life and ministry. I think you know the predecessor of that. I don't remember one of those meetings, you know. Just was bleep. Anyway, um, okay, here's an interesting point. Now, in those days, a lot of the brothers did um, salesman work and you would still go around people's houses in those days to sell things like double glazing or insurance <clears throat> so they would do a lot of things like that because you could do them at um, hours pretty much to suit yourself um, which left of course time for watchtower and the rest and the woman I was studying with who was very, very nice, okay? She was a full-time pioneer. Her husband was an elder. They were, they were both young. He was not always nice to her. Even I'd had to study at her place. And he wasn't always nice to her. I should, um, I should have raised an alarm bell. When you're a young man, you just don't know any better. Anyway... And um, we would, I think we, we were just talking about the theocratic ministry school thing, whatever it's called. And he actually said, oh, that book is just a handbook on how to be a salesman. Because that is what you're going out to do. You're going out to sell, aren't you? So he spoke the truth at that point, methinks. So for um, your meeting this week, for anyone who's going, You'll be warned about people. People who basically just don't go, yes, governing body, yes, governing body, yes, governing body. Oh, oh, not sure, but yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, not doubting, not doubting. So social networking, avoid the pitfalls. And that's true for everyone. There's pitfalls to avoid. But they've got, um, the, they put here, and you can see three lines down, the devil wants us to use social networks unwisely. <laughs> I don't know what the picture of the guy standing next to a pile of elephant poo is doing there. I, I don't understand that at all. He just looks fed up because the dung beetles haven't come yet. Anyway, maybe one of the Bible references refers to elephant poo. I, I, I'm confused. I'm confused. But like Jesus, we can use principles from God's word to identify dangers and avoid them. Very good. So, oh, using social media excessively. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> but they are saying social media can deprive us of precious time needed for spiritual pursuits. And we know what they are, don't we? Yes, get out there on a cart. Get out there on the doors. That's what they're saying. Now, this is the one you're going to enjoy. Well, <laughs> that's going to come out wrong now. I've said that with the next sentence. Viewing questionable material, looking at provocative images. I know I introduced that with the wrong sentences. Looking at provocative images can lead to pornography addiction or immorality. Now, there is, there is a problem, it seems. They're telling us with how pornography is reprogramming people's brains and it is affecting like real life relationships or potential for relationships but look what they've got so we've just been looking at oh, pornography and morality okay okay next sentence reading apostate material or blogs can damage one's faith so now who they call apostates by the way <laughs> lumped in with pornography I didn't know my life was so exciting. <laughs> I mean, come on. So reading, oops, okay, let's get the light on again here. Uh, reading apostate material or blogs doesn't say about YouTube watching videos, so you're all right if you're here. 
can damage your face. I wonder how it will damage your face. I mean, I've sort of seen online things said against people who who I know very well. I mean, intimate people, you know, real life people who I love. I've known many years, and you might see something about them. Doesn't stop me loving them. Not at all. Absolutely not at all. And if it seems to be entirely wrong, I stand up and I say blah 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 blah. Yeah. Doesn't damage how I feel or think about the person I love at all. I don't. I don't get this. Now this is one that a lot of J Dubs on YouTube need to need to take in mind if you're at this meeting today. Posting improper comments or photos. Well, thankfully I don't get to see them here. Now, improper comments. Now, is that all that like swearing that we get into sometimes? The times I've been told to kill myself. Would it be those sorts of comments, do you think, Watchtower? I think that's that's probably improper. Um, they might be inclined to. I think some of them really are, like, fired up. And there was the um, the really top guy in the... Not top guy, but he's one of the you know, trustees for, for congregations. The London Tagalog. <gasps> he was outed. He was outed before he had a go at me. And then he was having a go at everyone else. And then he was outed again. I believe doxed is the phrase. But, um... Oh, man. He was scurrying around. Still got screenshots and that. He was vile. He was horrible. He was telling people to cut cut off part of their their flesh and things. Weird. I mean, we are talking major weird. London Tagalog congregation. Yeah. There you go. There you go. One of the trustees. Go and figure that out, everyone. So, what well, he was eighteen months ago, just in case this changed. <laughs> Go to the records for um what well, go to the records eighteen months two years ago and you got no problem. So um there you go. Um we're in the same category as pornography. I I don't know. That's just so weird. Oh come on, that is weird. Is that weird? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I mean, if you, you like, if I said to my mate, you know, do, oh, things I do on YouTube just been in the same category as pornography, they'd look me up and down thinking, well, that's a bit of a specialist market. <laughs> <laughs> well, have fun. Um, oh, the guy's still waiting with his elephant head. And um, enjoy the meetings, everyone. Bye for now.